because she's working in a wellness centre close to me um, at Fairburn House as well. So um, if you're just looking like that, who is it? Um, so it's Suzanne who does the mother heel stuff. So I'm hoping I didn't sound too random when I did her podcast. Uh, so mobilising here. Then we're going to press through our fascia. So we're just going to slide our fingers through in between the bones and just warm it all up. Good. And she was saying that she'd already tried high presses because she'd had a shot of you, Fiona. Yeah. <laughs> So where we're mobilizing the fascia, you can do it and you can actually you can hold it from the other side as well if you want. You can actually move it both sides of the bone if you want. I prefer just getting really into the, fa the fascia on the top of the foot and using a ball later on for the bottom of the foot. Morning, Claire. I was missing you. I didn't send you an email. I was like, where's Claire been? Okay. So we're going to stick our fingers to our toes on the other side once you've finished that. Good. And mobilize that side as well. So same thing on the second foot when you're ready. Just take your time because I'll explain the exercises as we go this morning. So it's not a frantic class, but calm class today. This is good for you, probably. Um, so mobilizing the top portion of this foot, and then we're going to do our fascia release. So you can either have your foot on the floor, you can also have your foot over your knee, your leg if you want to, if you find it easier to get to your foot here. Good. Once you've done that, you're going to press through the fascia on this foot here too. Okay, so I was explaining to people as they arrived that we're going to be kind of, instead of just doing pure supine today, because we did that earlier on in the week this week, uh, we are going to be having a look at kind of mobilizing the spine and the vertebrae and the spine today. Um, and we've got some funky ways to do it. So each pose we'll have a wee look at, we'll discuss how we're going to breathe in it, and then we'll do it a few times through so you get a real feeling for it. A lot of it will be breathing in your own time today as well, rather than counting you. Once you've done both your feet, we're going to come to supine and we're going to lie on our backs. We're going to find our neutral pelvis and our neutral rib cage. Good. So once you arrive, just take a couple of breaths just so you can arrive at your spot on the mat. Good. Okay, good. So um, our first two are going to be at this level. All of it's going to be at this level to the end where we're going to come to standing. So we want to find our neutral pelvis and our neutral rotation. We want to find, make sure we're evenly weighted between the right and left side of our pelvis and the top and the bottom of our pelvis here. And ribcage nice and heavy on the floor. Back of your head nice and heavy on the floor. Feet evenly weighted. And then once you arrive here, you're just going to take some nice big slow breaths, just focusing on that umbrella breathing. So thinking about lower ribs, mid ribs, and upper ribs, and then upper ribs, mid ribs, and lower ribs. And just really give it a little bit more warm up through those intercostals before we get started today. Good. And inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your jaw, unless you're able to keep your jaw really relaxed and you'd like to try, you can inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose as well. Okay. Brilliant. Let's take one more big breath here. And when you finish that one, we'll start the first exercise. So what we're going to do for this one is our arching of the spine. So as we inhale, we're going to take our pubic bone down towards the floor. So we're tilting our pelvis forward and our back will arch off the floor. As we exhale, we're going to tuck our tailbone under, bringing our pubic bone up towards our navel, but keeping our pelvis on the floor, our lower back will come into the floor on the exhale. Um, we're going to do three of these at the end of the third one. I'm going to cue you. We'll count this one. At the end of the third one, I'm going to cue you um, to come back to neutral. So feet evenly weighted. We're not using our feet to push our pelvis. We are just using our pelvis to motivate this one. So ready to inhale and arch. In, two, three, four. Tuck, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arch, two, three, four, tuck, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arch, two, three, four, neutral, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Close your breath and nose, pause. Slowly opening your rib cage for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so this time when we do it, we're going to just do it in your own time. So I'm going to say arch and tuck, but just take your own time over it for your neutral. So you really slow your breath down as much as possible. I know my counting can be quite fast, I'm discovering. So I'm going to get you to try and slow it down as much as possible. So we're ready to inhale and arch. Inhaling and arching, tilting your, your pel pelvis down the way, arching your back off the floor. When you're ready, you're going to start your exhale, closing from the top of your ribcage down to the bottom, tucking your tailbone under as you go. Good. Then when you're ready again, you're going to start arching, bringing your pubic bone down towards the floor, making sure your shoulders feel nice and relaxed as you're arching your spine off the floor. As you exhale, you're going to tuck your tailbone back under again. Again, just do this in your own time. As you inhale, when you're ready to inhale, you're going back to that arch again, really exaggerating it this time. Good. And then at the end of this one, you're going to come back to your neutral position. When you're ready, finding neutral first, taking a pause, and then slowly opening your ribcage and try to really peel your ribcage away. Good. And when you're ready to inhale, just inhale and release. This time we're going to bring in a little bit of visualization. So as we inhale and arch, we're going to think about something really joyful, something, someone, or someplace. As we exhale and tuck underneath, we're going to think about something really calm, peaceful. So it can be somebody or something or someone or someplace. Yeah. So joy for our arch and then calm for our tuck. Ready to inhale. Start your inhale. As you inhale, you're going to think about your joyous thing as you bring your pubic bone down towards the floor and relax your shoulders and your face. As you exhale, when you're ready, you're going to start tucking your tailbone under, relaxing your face and thinking about your calm. Good. Then when you're ready again, when you're ready, you're going to arch and think about the very joyous thing, really slowing down your breath when you're ready to arch. Good. And then, then this exhale is your tuck. And you're really tucking your tailbone right under, bringing your pubic bone towards your abdominals. And this is your last joyful arch. So you're arching and you're being thinking about that really joyful thing. And then when you're ready to exhale, when you're ready, you're going to come back to your neutral position and pause that moment of calm and then slowly open your ribs. Good. Once you finish that one, when you finish your apnea there, take just a nice deep breath in. And this time we're going to do the same thing but without over exaggerating. So as I'm going to count you again, so we're going to do four and eight, and we're going to think about that arch when we inhale so just think about your coccyx drawing up your back and as you exhale you're going to think about the coccyx tucking underneath but there's going to be very little visible movement so we're really focusing on this being a really, a really deep movement of our spine so there is still movement there so you're, you i'd like you to really be aware of your coccyx drawing out and really be aware of your coccyx tucking under but we're not going to be exaggerating it in the same way okay so ready to inhale Arch, two, three, four, subtle tilt, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Subtle arch, two, three, four, tilt, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, two, three, four, out, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Slowly opening your ribs for 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
warm. Inhale here. So hopefully our slides are starting to feel a little bit warmed up and you really got that kind of feeling of being deep in your body when we did that one. We're going to come to quadruped now. So we're doing our one in quadruped, then we're going to come back to supine. So we're going to come back to our quadruped. We're going to come to our quadruped position. And we're going to recreate this in this position in quadruped. So we've got our toes tucked underneath behind us. Our knees are directly underneath our hips. Good. Our hands are directly underneath our shoulders. And our eyes are looking straight towards our hands. We want to feel that nice long length in our body. You can keep your fingers to the point and straight ahead here, or you can tuck them under if you like. Good. So for this one, we are going to inhale. And as we inhale, I'm sure I'm so as we inhale, we're going to inhale with neutral spine. As we exhale, we're going to tuck our tailbone under and arch our spine. As we inhale, we're going to come to the, a really open spine again. So it's as if we're arching, as if we're arching on the floor. So this would be the cow in yoga. And as we exhale, we're going to come into the cat. And we're going to do this three times. And on the third one, we are going to come into a neutral spine for our apnea breath. Okay. And if you're doing this on the floor, you just do the same thing on the floor, the arching, and then the, um, yeah. And the cat and the cat. So nice neutral spine. Start with a big inhale here to begin. So ready to inhale. In, two, three, four. Arch, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Into the cow, two, three, four. Arch, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Cow, two, three, four. Neutral, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Inhale here. Okay, so we're going to do this one again. I'm going to just take it in your own time. So I'm going to say cat for when we're like an angry cat, cat for when we're like this, and just take it nice and slowly in your own time back to your neutral. So find your nice neutral spine to begin with. Press back with your heels, pull your body away from that boiling hot floor. Ready to inhale in this position. Inhaling nice and slowly, really thinking about filling your spine and lengthening. As you start to exhale, start to arch your spine, so bringing your head down, looking towards your belly button as you tuck your tailbone under. Then as you inhale, you're going to bring your tailbone up towards the sky as you bring your head to eyes to look forward. Good. Then exhaling again, bringing that head under. So if you're looking for your belly button, tucking your tailbone under, pulling your body away from the floor. When you're ready to inhale, you're going to reverse that movement, bringing your tailbone up and your eyes forwards. Then for this exhale, we're coming back to our neutral spine. When you're ready, closing your mouth and nose, Pausing and slowly opening your ribcage. Super, super slow. Good. Nicely done. So, well done. So I would like us to bring in a little bit of more movement. So as we inhale, we are going to rock back. So we're going to inhale and we're going to rock back. As we exhale, we're going to pull ourselves forwards into our cat. As we inhale, we're going to rock back. Tailbone's going to come up. All the things I tell you not to do, usually keeping our neutral spine. And as we exhale, we're going to come forwards. Okay, uh, into an arch spine. So are we ready for this? <laughs> Let's see. So our first one is our inhale, drawing back. Ready to inhale. Inhale, drawing back. As you draw back, think about looking forwards, tailbone in the air. As you exhale, you're going to start by tucking your tailbone under, rolling almost forwards until your head is looking towards your belly button. Then as you inhale, you're going to tilt backwards again, tailbone in the air, looking forwards. And as you exhale, start with the tailbone, start tucking it under, and then slowly roll that curl all the way through to your head. 
Last one, inhaling, coming back, looking forward, and exhaling, drawing forward back into a neutral spine, closing your mouth and nose, pausing, and slowly opening your ribcage, super, super slow. Good. Nicely done. Shake these wrists up, give them a shake off. We're going to do that one more time here, and then we're going to come back to the floor for the supine. Um, so, hands back down. This time, as we draw back, we're going to think, as we arch our back backwards and look towards the front, we're going to think about something really joyful. So we're looking forward to something joyful. And then as we come forward and bring our curl our spine around, we're going to bring ourselves into calm. So really feeling that calm as we curl back forwards. So in, inhale, inhale, joy, exhale, calm. I'm trying to get this right. <laughs> okay, nice and just right. Gaze towards your hands. Pull your body away from the floor. Press your heels backwards. Ready to inhale, draw back, and joy. So drawing back. Inhaling as you draw back. Looking forward and joy. As you exhale, you're going to start with curling your tailbone under. Thinking about something calm as you bring your eyes to look towards your belly button. Good. Then when you're ready, you're going to start your inhale back, drawing back with your pelvis first, and then gazing forwards. As you exhale, you're going to tuck your tailbone under as you bring yourself into a sense of calm. Last one. When you're ready, inhale, coming back, facing forwards, and then as you exhale, bringing yourself out of that position into a neutral spine, pause and slowly open your lips. That is the case. I'm done. Okay, so we're going to come back down onto the floor and we are going to have a look at the bridge position now. So we're going to do the bridge in two different ways here. So we're going to come back down to the floor, finding your nice neutral spine again, before we start knocking about with it. Hands are going to be flat, flat on the floor. And the first one we'll do is a nice basic one again. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inhaling in position. As we exhale, we're going to do a passive bridge to come up. So that means we're going to tilt our pelvis just a tiny bit and press our knees over our feet and come, keeping this nice neutral spine. We're going to inhale at the top. We're going to exhale, come back down again. We're going to do this three times, and then we're going to do our apnea breath on the third exhale. And then we are going to, so it should be inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, <laughs> inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, apnea. And then during the apnea, I would like us to curl down. So we're going to come down slowly, 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 curling all the way back down to the floor. So using each individual vertebra to come to the floor. Okay, we're ready for this. I uh, hope this works. Uh, it did when I practice. So gaze up towards the ceiling, feet nice and relaxed. We're just moving on the exhales and the apnea. So static here to start with. Ready to inhale. In two, three, four. Tilt and come up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, three, four, down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, three, four, tilt and come up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause. Open your ribs. Really feel that growing of the rib cage first. Once you have your rib opening, slowly try and hold that rib opening as you come back down. Vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. All the way back to the bottom. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. So we're going to do that again. So same thing. And um, we're really focusing on passive, passive position first and then that ripple back down again. So ready to inhale here. In two, three, four, tilt and come up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
pause, two, three, four, down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pause, two, three, four, tilt and come up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose, pause, slowly opening your ribs. And then slowly, when you're ready, start to come down, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra, until right at the end, your pelvis comes down into a neutral position. Hopefully still with the acne. Brilliant. So we're going to add to this. So we're going to do the same thing. But then when we come to do our acne up here, as we grow our acne, we're going to start with our feet. So our feet are going to begin the acne. Then our body's going to continue the acne. Our hands are going to come from here and they're going to come up into an overhead V. And then we're going to slowly, slowly come back down again, hopefully holding our acne all the way to the bottom. And we should get a really nice lengthening here through our abdominals and our extensors in our back as well and our fascia. So let's try that in. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Ready to inhale here. In two, three, four. Tilt and come up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, three, four. Come down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, two, three, four. Tilt and come up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close your mouth and nose. Pause. Dorsey back your feet as you start to slowly open your rib cage. Hands are coming over the top. When you're ready, you're going to start slowly coming back down. Show each individual, think about each individual vertebra being a cog in a wheel that's slowly, slowly coming down towards the floor into your neutral pelvis. Hands and feet can come down once you're there. Well done, everyone. So we're going to come up to standing and we're going to have a look at a standing pose now. I know it's controversial on a Friday. We are. So let's go up to standing. Excellent. Okay. Just adjust this a bit. I mean, it's so we can see. That should work. Yes. Okay. So we are going to start in our standing position here. As we inhale. We're going to start by doing a roll down. I've got a down tall. So we're going to start here. Now, remember that when we are doing a roll down in hyperpressis or we're doing anything with our spine in hyperpressis, we're thinking about keeping space. So we're going to start here and we're going to inhale. As we exhale, we're going to start by thinking about slowly lifting our head away from our feet and then slowly starting to look down the way. So we don't want to take our chin onto our chest, but we want to start slowly opening each individual vertebra, trying to lengthen it further away from our heels by rolling down. So we're going to roll from our cervical spine, our thoracic spine, into our lumbar spine, and we're going to place our hands on the tops of our knees, just here above the tops of our knees, looking for our belly button with our, with our eyes. Then as we inhale, we are going to come back up again, and we're going to slowly come back up each individual vertebra for our count for our inhale. We're going to bring our hands up, and we're going to tilt our chin just a little bit, so we take our spine in the opposite way. Then as we exhale again, we're going to start by taking the tilt out of our chin. We're going to start looking down, looking down, looking down, looking down, looking down, almost like we're diving over a board into our exhale again. Okay. So we're going to shoot like that, then our apnea down there. And once we have our apnea down there, I'm going to give you some options and see how it feels in your body. This is why I'm holding the spine up first. Okay, so feet are nice, and feet are hip distance apart. Knees are soft. We find our neutral pelvis, making sure we're not gripping with our glutes. I'd like you just to slump your shoulders over for a moment. It's in a position. Then I'd like you to think about your sacrum, so the bone that points down the way, pushing down towards the floor as the crown of your head slowly grows up towards the ceiling, so we can find a nice neutral posture. Good. Little balance point forward to begin. We're going to start this with our hands and tongue rotated for the first one. We're going to take a nice deep breath in, and then as we exhale, we're going to start coming down. So inhale, take a deep breath in. 
As you exhale, start to curl your cervical spine, then your thoracic spine where your ribcage is, and then your lumbar spine, all the way down. Then as you inhale, you're going to start with your lower spine stacking on top of the mid spine, on top of the upper spine as your hands come up into high knee, and you tilt your head towards the ceiling. Then as you exhale again, you're going to start your curl, bringing your hands internally rotated, curling your thoracic, your, your lumbar, all the way down. When you're ready to inhale, you're going to start restacking your spine as your hands come up and as you gaze slightly towards the corners of your room. Take it in your own time, yeah? As you exhale again, start to curl your hands in the way as you curl your neck, your thoracic spine and your lumbar spine, looking for your belly button with your eyes. Open your rib cage here. And then you've got the option with the rib cage opening either to stay here or to keep the opening of the rib cage as you come back up, stacking the spine and tilting your neck. But either works for me. So go when you feel. Nice, good. Well done. So we're going to do that again a couple of times so you feel it. This is a really nice movement pattern for your spine. And it's just being aware that you know we can move at your own pace. So I don't want to hurry anybody. So let's start again in terms of rotate. I'll find your neutral pelvis first. Make sure you find your nice neutral spine. Little balance point forward. Ready to inhale. As you start your inhale, you're, so you're going to inhale here. So nice deep breath in, inhale in here. As you start your exhale, you're going to start curling your neck, curling your thoracic, curling your lumbar, hands coming just above the tops of your knees, gazing towards your belly button with your eyes. Still your little balance point forward. As you exhale, you're going to, as you inhale, you're going to slowly stack your spine, hands are coming up. And again, do this in your own time, open to your V, tilting a little bit. As we exhale, we're going to start that flexion of the neck. Flexion of the thoracic, internally rotating the hands, flexing the lumbar spine, gazing towards your belly button with your eyes. And then again, as you inhale, coming all the way back up again. Good. And this is your last exhale this time. When you're ready, you're going to start the flexion of your spine again. So flexing, flexing, flexing all the way down. And when you're ready, you're going to do your apnea breath here. You can either hold it here and just feel that apnea breath in this position, which is in itself lovely, or you can start bringing your spine all the way back up again, bringing your hands up and tilting your chin towards the corners of the room. Nice. Perfect. Shake it off. Last one, we've got two minutes. So we're going to come back down to the floor because I know everybody likes to end this appointment on a Friday. So we're going to come last one on the floor. A bit of green light, red light again, just to finish where we started. So when you get here, finding your nice neutral spine up and down, right? So there's a difference. So nice neutral spine first. Hands can be wherever you want them to be, wherever it's comfortable. Feet nice and relaxed on the floor. As we inhale, we're gonna arch the spine off the floor. As we exhale, we're going to tilt and tuck the tailbone under the spine towards the floor. Just two of the, two, well, just one, one set and then our apnea and hold the apnea for as long as we like. So ready to inhale and arch. Inhaling, as you inhale, bringing your pubic bone towards the floor, drawing your coccyx up your back and arching. As you exhale, pubic bone tucks back round towards your navel as your pelvis tucks under. Good. And then when you're ready, you start your arch again. And think about it being a really delicious movement in your pelvis. Really using, finding that pelvis again. And then as you exhale, you're tucking your tailbone back under again. Again, really feel this in the pelvis as well as the spine. And then as you exhale, you're going to come back to a nice neutral spine and slowly open your rib cage. Good. Hold for as long as is comfortable for you.
And then when you're ready, you can pull your knees in towards your chest and give your back a little rock over the top of your spine. And then you can rock yourself up to a sitting position when you're ready. Well done, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, for our spine, just a little bit different than just lying down today. Um, any questions? I've got a question, Abby. Um, yeah. If you do red light, green light, and you're on the floor, mm -hmm. and you um, exhale and rock back, the lower TAs, because the ASIS bones are kind of coming together, should you be activating the TAs, or is it more of a pelvic move? Because I'm a bit confused about that. It's more of a pelvis move, but as you inhale and you're arching, your your as you're arching, your abdominals release as you're arching. Yeah. So your TAs release as well, because what happens yeah. is your your yeah your ASIS bones draw together to release as your coccyx pulls out and your sit bones widen. So as as we exhale, the TAs TAs contract, so they're lengthening on the inhale. So you should be able to feel both the TAs yeah. releasing and the TAs then contracting, TAs then contracting when you tuck under. So you should be able to feel the TAs activating. You should also be able to feel the pelvis doing that rotation as well. So you're not, I guess where I was getting confused is um, someone I'm working with was saying, should she be like pulling her TAs in as she exhales? And I thought that sounds a little bit too extreme. As you as you ex no as you exhale your transverse muscle contracts but it contracts because the the ASIS bones are pulling apart so you don't pull tight into the abdominals the the transverse yeah. actually pulls this way on an ex on an exhale right that makes more sense yeah because she's saying that she was pulling her um abdominals she's doing, 